不争，去喝咖啡跟真诚，真的不傻，好不好？交给我，交给我。This is Pong Yen Tan, one of the uh, professional riders who in this race. I occasionally see this guy training in my area. It's either he is passing me by or you're just meeting him and he's about to go home. Only 365 participants are registered on this event and mostly of them are Taiwanese. And if they are foreigners, they are either living here or working here. A few big names have attracted this race already with the likes of Vincenzo Nivelli, Cadell Evans and the likes from last year, Mariana Boss and the whole CCC Lib team. So if this is your first time to see a video of the Taiwan KOM Challenge, let me give you a little recap. This event started in 2012, so if you guess, if you do the math, it's 2020 now, it's the 8th edition. It takes you from the east coast of Taiwan in Hualien City, which is sea level, literally the beach, to Uling Pass at 3,275 meters above sea level. The length of this route is 105 kilometers, 
which is 65.2 miles. The first 18 kilometers is the neutral zone, which is the perfect place to warm up because the next 87 kilometers is all uphill. But on the 84 kilometer mark, there is a little 2 kilometer descent. Usually, there is three editions of this race. There is the spring edition, which happens on April, and there is the summer edition, which either happens at the end of June or the first week of July. And the final edition of race edition, which happens at the last Friday of October, usually. That's uh, for the last three times I have joined this race. And if you have watched my recent videos, this is JP Burkett, the long-haired dude on the orange allied bicycles. He is in front of me. This is the front group right now of the neutral. So what was in my plan is to stay in the front group even if it's the neutral zone. Mike! What's up? Hey my friend! What's up? Oh man, I'm doing fantastic. You got no it. pressure ride this morning. I know. There's absolutely no pressure. Yeah. Honestly, if we just finish it and get as far as we can, yeah. that's all that matters. Yeah, man. 100%. That's a good uh, positive thinking. Legs are feeling good this morning? Yeah, all good. <laughs> You got this. <laughs> If you think I fast forwarded that clip, no. What happened is while I was filming, I didn't notice that the front group is already going fast. So when the turn happened, I got caught up a little bit behind. I had to accelerate and I had to move up because I don't want to be away from the front group. Because my initial plan after this neutral is over is to stick with the main group, with the main bunch to get the benefit of a drop for at least an hour. Maybe. I got this, right? <laughs> yeah. I got this. Absolutely. This is better. This is better than last year. The, the neutral. Yeah, not sure. <laughs> no, no. I mean the, the neutral pace right now. Last uh, year was like so fast. It was 40, yeah, something. Yeah. yeah. This I'm was not a... sure if this is better. Because it's yeah, not really yeah. warming up. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway. Yeah. Really matter. Yeah. Beautiful though. <laughs> I can hope uh, it's not gonna rain more than this. Yeah. That's all my worry. We got this. It is okay. So what's your plan? Get up there. Get up there. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. It man. is, man. Get up there. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah.
I know that it is about to start. The climb is about to start because people are now waving to the left. And I also know because I lap my Brighton. I press the lap button at the start line and I can see it's 18 kilometers. So here we go. Front group. After 16 minutes, I have to let go of them. Too much. It's too much. But it's still in front. My goodness. So close. Then after 16 minutes, I had to let go because I was looking at my power and it was way too much. I can't handle it. So I said to myself, "No, I'll stick to my plan and I'll just try to pace myself." and maybe find someone on the back people that are dropped, wait for somebody and try to make a chasing group huh? yeah. <laughs> So after like 5 minutes getting dropped from the main group, people are now getting also dropped one by one from the main group. So it was working when I was waiting for people to go in. And people from behind are also making some chasing groups so I had to like stick to them. Because I know that the drop from them will be very very useful. And fortunately, I know these people, this team FTL in Taiwan. They are an amateur cycling team, which they are being led by uh, the former two-time champion of the first editions of this Taiwan KOM. Very strong team, FTL. So small, you will meet you, huh? Yeah. Last week, you will meet me. Yeah. <laughs> go, 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 Joe Mar! Then after around 30 kilometers into the race, it was formed the chasing group with a two minutes gap from the main bunch. It was an awesome time for me because now I can save some power and energy and give this a crack for a personal record. Because I know the people that are forming this group right now are very very strong. I can see two ladies who are very very strong who I've seen last year did a good job. One from the Elan, Elan cycling team. She was riding with the team CCC Lib last year. She was the sixth place on the podium of the women. At this point, we've ridden already 46 kilometers, including the uh, neutral pace, and this is already the uh, first feed zone after the feed zone at the back and I had time to like interview them for a bit right now you can see like there's people at the back scattered people still getting water and drinks and later they will 
come back together but as you can see there is no sound in my GoPro right now because it's full of water rain it started to rain already and it's so cold at 10 degrees in my Brighton it was very very hard that day So that video at the first feed zone was the last video from my GoPro because it was so cold. It was a consistent rain and a consistent weather of 10 degrees, 9 degrees and 8 degrees. It was so hard to get my camera out and film because my hands were just freezing. So these videos are now courtesy of the DT Swiss filmers. A huge shout out to them and this one is from a fellow youtuber Taiwanese youtuber Terry you can check out his channel for the Taiwanese version or he also I think put some English captions on it this is the last 5k like 87 k's in and there's the two kilometer descent I had to stop and wear my vest I was so thankful that I had to take my vest courtesy of at last sportswear it was the heavy thick thick vest it helped me from the descent to keep my body warm because one week prior to race day we had checked the weather report that it was gonna rain it's gonna rain and it's gonna be cold but then at the start line it wasn't raining just a little drizzle so I was thinking if I should get or not my best but it's really a good thing that I decided Oh, okay, I'll just put it in my back. It will be raining, then I have something to make me warm. So that was that was a good one. And after some ample amount of time in the bike that is 4 hours 34 minutes according to my certificate which is supposed to be given in paper at the finish line but they said it's raining we cannot print you out it might get wet so we'll just send it to you on the email I could just make a conclusion this is the hardest day the hardest race I've ever done yet with this kind of conditions rain wind and a very very hard super high mountain pass that we have to go through there are around 255 finishers out of the 365 registrants or participants the organization said this is one of the uh, or this is the biggest percentage of the people that did not finish because as you can see this weather is just so so unforgiving it was deteriorating every minute of the day even removing my gloves was so hard because they are frozen I cannot remove it the eventual winner of this race is John Epson it is his fourth time to win it with a time of three hours 21 minutes followed by Christian Trenchev with a 19 minutes gap the organizers always say that bring a very very thick jacket or anything that keeps you warm at the top of the Uling Pass at the end of your ride and put it in your day bag so that you will have something to wear for whatever weather on top because it's always cold on top of a high pass me and my buddy Steen had a plan to descend this mountain after the event but due to this very very extreme weather it's not doable it's very very dangerous so the organization said that you are supposed to book a service or a van 
and going down this mountain it will either take you to where you want to go either to Taipei to north north or south whatever there are there are choices in the website which you can choose which way you want to go it's 2000 NT so with Steen and me we had to wait for an available van we had to talk to the organizer so they scolded us for a bit I mean yeah they scolded us and said you should have done it you should have booked in advance so we end up waiting around a, an hour and a half for our van because they prioritize those people that book early that book in the website of the Taiwan KOM organization. Good thing at the finish line they have hot soup, rice, and free coffee courtesy of Duvelo Boutique. He was also there giving us free coffee for everyone. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> free coffee, thank you! A massive congratulations to Jason Cruz who managed to get port place by the way at the M30 category. Congratulations to him and everyone, everyone, everyone who finished this event. Everyone is a warrior. Everyone is a winner. Jason Cruz also managed to get Friendship Award. Friendship Award is given to the first finisher of a country that is less than 15 participants. And if you still remember our friend JP Burkett, he managed to get 6th place on his age category, M40 category. And the Friendship Award trophy. And so did our friend Ian Edwards, Friendship Awards. So, this year's edition has been really, really bad wet weather. Really, really cold. You can be right now shivering. I kind of recovered now. So, I was filming. Hey. Oh. I would like to give a big shout out to Brighton Sports, to DT Swiss for their very, very good wheel set that DT Swiss. Monchaseral PRC 1100 die cut 35 millimeter very light and very very responsive on climbs and to Atlas Sportswear for giving me the very very best of their cycling apparels today I have with me a very very thick jacket you cannot see because I still have another jacket so a massive shout out to those three companies for helping me out on this journey So if you ask me on how I did on this race, I placed 56 overall and 9th place on my 8th category, which is a very very nice achievement. I'll do it next year and I will see you all, everybody who is watching right now. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, alright? I'll see you on the next video. Peace! Bye bye! Oh, I would like to remind you by the way that I have a channel membership on this YouTube channel. You can check it on the description down below. For as low as $1, you can support me in what I do. Thank you very much. Bye bye again. I'll see you in Taiwan KOM. Alright? Come here next year. Bye bye.